Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Haidar. Welcome back to my channel, Growth Analytics. And today we're going to be talking about, or me showing you, how to test your payment plan on Shopify in the year 220. Not a lot has changed, but uh, if you look at the videos from previous YouTubers, most of them are actually old school. And I wanted to give you guys an update so that way, for the people viewing this video that want to go step by step and feel more comfortable that the layouts are the same you can have it right here so let's get started with that so obviously you want to log into your shopify store and once you log out for the shopify store uh, this is uh, some store i just created uh, for the sake of this video so uh, once you click click on settings so once you're on that screen what you want to really click on is payment providers so this is your payment provider i also have a complete video setup that i uh, how to actually set up your own payments uh, through Shopify that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel so make sure to check that out if you need help and support with that but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna be looking into showing you guys how to actually test um, your checkout so click on manage once you click on manage scroll all the way down and you can see here there's something called test mode right so you want to click on up uh, enable that test mode obviously it tells you that's all it's going to be simulated so you want to make sure that if you have a live shopify store right now you want to make sure that you're stopping all the ads and everything for the traffic because any uh, customer that actually checks out or makes us check out is going to be uh be in a simulation so it's going to give them an error uh, or give her an error so you don't want to avoid you want to avoid doing that ultimately you want to obviously test your payment method before you launch your product uh, or your Shopify store before promoting and get some traction and traffic on it but if you want to if you have changed something recently and as far as like payment method or anything like that you want to make sure that everything is aligned to uh, perfection you want to make sure to do that as well that's fine as well right so you want to click on save once you click on save now uh, everything is going to be simulated again this is an account that i just created for the sake of this video keep in mind that um in order for you to actually have uh, an ability to check out meaning like if i would go to my online store and i try to actually you know try for example to check out just let's, let's scroll the way down here this is random product i imported um and let's say you want to buy it now it won't let me uh, just because the reason behind that is I didn't really I, I really did not pick a plan for this and I'm not gonna enter my credit card information for a website I'm not really not gonna be using and cancel it later but for the sake of this video if you actually have a plan and everything what's gonna happen is it's gonna tell you through like a normal customer and this is where the tricky part is so you want to go to this website which I will post the link in the description below in this video but you want to go to the uh, liquid retailer dot com shopify test credit card numbers whatever so you want to scroll all the way down here and this is exactly the section you're looking for so this is going to tell you like this is test mode uh so the name of the card on the card should be only two words um or two letters it doesn't really matter honestly um and an expiration date anything in the future so just a random date that is currently in the future uh, uh cvv which is number three digit and then this is the card or the credit card number that you want to use for the following so you have your visa card right here you know you gotta do is double click and just copy obviously mastercard all this credit card information right here so obviously once you put that in there um and you click buy what's going to end up happening is that it will show you that if it goes through it it'll tell you success and your your um confirm your payment or order your order has been confirmed everything is perfect so if you did not get that message you get an error know that there's something wrong with the setup and you want to follow the exact instructions that i provided on my other previous video in regards to how to set up your uh, shopify payments as well um, i'm not I, I personally do have a shopify store myself but i'm not going to really go through this because i i'm not ready in a stage where i want to announce what my shopify store is so i hope you guys understand and i hope you guys find this to be very helpful as a video if you do please make sure you hit that like button until i see you guys later take care and you have a wonderful day take care bye bye